cascading problems uh, basically refers to the idea that you start with one problem and then you think you've solved it and then you find out you have another problem. So for example, the first, the most important thing that your cells need is oxygen. You need other things too, but without oxygen, the cells die very quickly. So your body has a respiratory system that brings in oxygen and controls the oxygen level with various activities. So you bring, once you bring the oxygen into the blood, then you're faced with another problem because the oxygen doesn't dissolve well in the blood. So you have to have hemoglobin to carry the oxygen. But if you need a certain amount of oxygen, and that means you have to have a certain amount of hemoglobin. So the hemoglobin has to be controlled. So you have kidney cells that sense the oxygen level and they set up a hormone called erythropoietin. And the erythropoietin travels in the blood and attaches to specific receptors on stem cells in the bone marrow. And it tells those stem cells to become red blood cells. Another problem you got solved, okay, now we're controlling how many red cells are made. But then we run into another problem because hemoglobin won't work unless it's got enough iron. And if iron is free in the body or in the cell, it's toxic. So you need to be able to control the iron in the body and also its transport. So the liver makes a hormone called hepcidin that tells the intestine how much iron to bring in. And it also makes a transport protein called transferrin, which carries iron throughout the body. So at this point now, okay, we've got enough blood with enough hemoglobin with enough iron to carry enough oxygen. So now you need a cardiovascular system to pump the blood throughout the body. But your body has certain activity levels, uh, such as if you're running, you need to, your heart has to speed up. So now you need the autonomic nervous system to tell the heart how hard and fast to pump uh, when you're active. So that's cascading problems. So in order to solve the one problem of getting enough oxygen to every cell in your body, you need a respiratory system, you need the bone marrow, you need the kidneys, you need the GI system, you need the liver, and you need the cardiovascular system and the, auto, and the autonomic nervous system. Without any of those, you cannot accomplish it. That's engineering. At least that's what I've been told. <laughs>